Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Just Breed. Last time we visited the village of Tungal, where uh, we heard that their dam had been broken. So we need to get a log to fix the dam. And we're looking for a woodcutter, but uh, looks like Roland knows of one near Sitargia. So let's look at our uh, stream list. And there's Sitargia, but right here, the woodsman. So let's just head on over there. Hopefully he can help us, we don't have to do a huge runaround fetch quest. Oh, yeah. Finally, somebody sees it! I go to the gym every day, come on. I need some recognition. Ah, oh, perfect. You know, you would think that you can pretty much, like, get a log anywhere. It's a freaking log. I mean, I have armies at my disposal, I can't just go cut down a tree. I don't know. But anyway, we got the log, so that's all we have to do. No long involved fetch quest there. Thankfully. So let's go on back to Tungal and uh, head on out for yet another battle. Okay, so here we're on the exact same map that we were previously on. We're just kind of on the other side. Um, it can be rather crowded, so you do need to be very careful with your characters and where you put them because you can get um, kind of bottlenecked in relatively quickly. What I want to do is have Lydia's army go first and get in some attacks, then have David's army also head on uh, with Lydia's army, and um, basically wipe the floor with these guys with their magic. If your warriors or archers get in some attacks here and there, you know, that's just gravy, but for the most part, magic is where it's at at this point in the game. Um, physical attacks just are not... It, it, any good anymore. So Duval's and Roland's army are going to be heading up to the north. Um, use Roland's army to get rid of those monster dens as fast as humanly possible so they don't start spawning. And then send uh, Duval's and Roland's army over to the right, again using magic um, as much as humanly possible. The problem with this map is that we have these Hellfires who can cast their Berlaze spell on you, which deals a ton of damage to a lot of party members. So you really do want to make sure that you are using um, Karen to heal constantly. Pretty much every single turn, she's going to be healing. Otherwise, your guys will be dying very soon. Another problem against those Hellfires is that... Um, they are very resistant to your fire magic. And your fire magic is the best magic that you have. At this point, Gasarch isn't all that good, but it's the only thing that David has as far as a really nice um, attack spell. Around isn't all that good, but it's the only thing that Lydia has as a nice attack spell. Freebane is great. Um, Duval has that, so definitely use that, but use Berlaze and use the second level Berlaze spell with um, Isaac and with Duval's Mage, because those are the only two that have it. And also use that Flame Sword as many times as humanly possible. I gave that to Roland, so um, that's really what I'm going to be using him for. Um, not really anything else. Yeah, so just get him as close to these enemies as possible, use the Flame Sword, getting some hits here and there, the rest of his army, whatever, it really doesn't matter what they do. Then again with David, you want him to head up towards that dam ASAP. He has to use that log to, um, to fill in the dam, so again I have him with speed shoes so that he can move um, as far as humanly possible. Another thing, we need to get this, um, these other two monster dens closed because they will start pouring out these like they're like zombie type monsters they're actually really easy they're very weak to fire they're very susceptible to weapon attacks they don't have a lot of defense they're the only problem is that there's just a lot of them so yeah and then this guy right here he has a ton of hp he is something like 160 hp he's not hard he's just like a tank it'll just take forever to get him down and he's highly resistant to magical attacks as well and he just has a pretty decent amount of uh, defense also. So, yeah, it's going to take quite a bit to get him down, but just do whatever you can. As far as the music is concerned today, I'm using a Wild Arms 2 music. I know that a lot of people like the Lord Blazer theme, so I put that in there, and I also put in the intro music, too. So, yeah, we're just sticking with Wild Arms for a little bit. I don't know if I'm going to do Wild Arms 3 music, because I just don't like Wild Arms 3. 
but maybe. We'll see. I don't know. Anyway, we closed off that, um, those two dens. Now all we gotta do is kill this guy once he's dead. But hey, then we can just end our turn. Sweet! And we got it. So now let's just, uh, run on over here and close up this dam. Just go to the item menu, use your log. Okay, perfect. Well, wow. it's not flooding, I guess, but the water is still there. It's gonna take a while to evaporate, or it could just evaporate all at once like every good JRPG. Well, we're here. Let's just uh, go around and talk to everybody now that we have, um, fixed up their town and fixed their dam and, you know, helped the river and everything. Oh, just Vendel. Oh, yikes. Um, it's some sort of ancient beast. Who could be doing it? Well, Gul'dal Ray, duh. Come on now. Uh, yeah. Passion showers like hail. Um, yeah, no kidding. He hated us not five minutes ago. And now we're like his best friends. Uh... Well, thanks. And thanks for all your help, too. Yeah... He's not gonna get magically get better or anything, it's not like this is a video game or anything. No! Can't possibly! Well, what is it? Oh! <gasps> oh, no! Great. Yeah, so we have another priestess kidnapped, and another town burned to the ground. That's just lovely. Wait, what? But we fixed it. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah, he's just drunk. That guy's still drunk. He still doesn't have anything else to say. Uh, I'm only going to talk to people who actually changed their dialogue. No one's in here. Hey there. Oh, well, yeah, we were here to save the day, of course. Oh. Oh, except for, you know, the fire that engulfed it. Yeah, we're just gonna ignore that for right now. Wonder if this guy has anything uh, new to say. Oh. Yeah, no kidding. He really didn't help us out all that much the first time anyway. And I don't really see Lydia around here either. I don't know where she ran off to. Oh, well. I love how the shopkeepers don't have like, any kind of accent whatsoever. Uh, here, off-screen, I went ahead and I bought all of my archers silver boomerangs. That will come in very handy for the next battle. Don't worry about your various warriors that you have. They're pretty much useless. They're just kind of meat shields at this point. Um, if they get in hits, they get in hits. Honestly, as far as killing things is concerned, it's Really, your mages. At this point, it's your mages and your heroes and their magic that is just devastating everything. Um, archers do a little bit more with their backup attacks, you know, here and there, picking things off. But um, the warriors, not so hot. So, yeah. Anyway, we're going to head on out here, and we have yet another battle to go to Bavor, which has apparently has been burned to the ground, even though... Uh, over here, it looks perfectly fine to me, but we're gonna head there next time. Oh, let's play Just Breed. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.